Here they go. Oh, this is sick. Oh, bro, giant gar. Giant gar trying to get the bait. Baby turtles all up in here. No. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So a lot of you may know, we did just set up a bait pen in our backyard pond. And today I decided let's take some bait and go hit all these canals and ponds around the house and see what we can catch for the backyard pond. We have a lot of bait fish in here and smaller fish. We need some big fish in here. So that is the goal today. We got to get some baits out of here and then take the bikes and hit all these spots. Before we get going, let's see everyone munch away this morning. We do this every morning, sometimes twice a day. We make sure everything eats. But yeah, they're all doing awesome. So we gotta fill this up real quick. Grab some water. Perfect, we're only gonna bring about five baits. These are really hardy baits, so one bait will last us a good, good amount of throws, or attempts to catch a big fish. All right, let's see how these baits are doing. Oh yeah. Look at how healthy those baits are. Oh my gosh. We're gonna leave them just in the water like that and then hand pick the ones we wanna take. But we are on a mission today. We gotta catch something big. Look at that. that that's literally perfect. Not too big, not too small. Perfect size. We're on the bikes right now. Got my fishing rod right here bucket right there I'm gonna be holding on to everything we also got David right up there with a big old cooler on the back so if we do catch anything big we'll be able to transfer it back to the pond let's head out all right guys we're approaching the entrance it gets a little rough here so hang on we got buckets coolers fishing rods it's gonna get a little bumpy Right there. Holy cow. Bunch of wetland over there. Big old canal over here. Uh, like I said, it is a little bumpy, so bear with me, guys. We're trying to make this work for y'all. Okay, spot number one, right behind the house here. It's a little more open, not as many trees, so we're able to cast. But Bob did pull a five pound bass out of here. He's now in the pond, Bobby the Bass. So uh, I think we may have some luck here. There's definitely big fish that move through this area. Let's check out how these baits do. Oh yeah, nice and live. Something's gotta eat that. Oh, blow up right to the left of it. Now there's not only bass in this canal, you got gar, tarpon, snook, cichlids, oscars, snakehead, the list goes on. There's just a bunch of invasive species plus native species. So it makes it kind of cool. You're not, you, you just kind of never know what you're gonna catch. So we'll see. We're gonna give each spot and cast about five minutes at the spot we're at and then we'll just keep moving, try to cover as much ground as possible. That's perfect right now. You see how it's right in the middle, just slowly drifting down the canal? Well, all the bigger fish hang out in these lily pads, so as soon as they see that, they just shoot out, ambush it, it's done for. Okay. Well, we gotta recast him because he was going up in that structure. Let's see. I'm liking this spot right here. Money, dude. We got our bobber out. We're gonna give this thing a good five minutes to just sit there, be pretty patient. But while that's waiting, come over here real quick. I wanna show you guys this. So if you don't know, this is literally the backyard to the house. The house is right there. So anytime I'm on the balcony, I'm able to see all of this just from a higher view. And if you look closely, there is water all up in here when it really really rains this is another like three feet high but it is crazy because there is wildlife everywhere we'll see deer walking through here turkeys big old boars it's it's just crazy because it's right in your backyard you don't expect to see those kind of things so what i'm getting to is if you guys want to see a fish trap i think it'd be absolutely epic something very different fish trap back in the wetlands here i mean look at this place it looks like like a different country almost it does not look like we're in florida so 
If you guys want to see a fish trap, maybe catch a new species of fish, walking catfish, eels live up in there, like this video. Get it to 15,000 likes, we'll come back out here, we'll place a 24 hour fish trap in the swamp lands and see what we can catch. No luck at the last spot. So we move down a bit, see if we have any luck here. It's just hard right now. You got a lot of construction being done down there. So they're just dumping a bunch of dirt into this water, making it really murky, plus a lot of commotion. So the fish are probably a little frightened, but we'll see what we can do here. We're not gonna give up that easily. Even just like a nice three, four pound bass would be dope. But dude, I'm seeing so many smaller fish, like little Oscars, cichlids. I'm almost thinking we go back and grab the cast net if this doesn't work out. Come on, there's gotta be a fish in there. Oh, bro, giant gar, giant gar trying to get the bait. Do you see him? so hard to do oh he broke me off no that's one thing about gar guys they do have teeth so they can if you don't get them in the right spot those teeth will just slice right through your line and that's exactly what happened he ate it going through this canal went to set hook as soon as I set hook snapped right off well looks like we got to go grab the cast net the best part about the cast net is you could just cover so much area. And with this long, long canal, we'll just take the bikes every like 30 yards, stop and throw the cast net and see what we can catch. Oh yeah, it is my 21st birthday today, guys. So uh, tonight, after I get done with this video, you already know I'm going to have my first drink, guys. First legal drink. Already he ate out of these drinks. Whoa! 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 Yeah. You all right? Yeah. What happened there? I Yo! Baby turtle! Baby turtle! Look at him! No way! Look at how tiny he is! Come here, buddy. It's okay. Bro, little baby turtle on the way back. I don't know what kind he is, maybe a red belly slider. It looks like, yeah, red belly slider right there. You can tell he's got the red belly, but look at how tiny. This thing has to be like three days old. It's the size of my thumb. So insane, look at him crawling right here in the middle of the road. He could have gotten hit by a car, so thankfully we saw him, but Dude, where could he came from? There's no water really around except these little puddles. Oh my, dude, I just, I don't know what that was. Maybe a fish or something, but bro, I feel like we should search this and see if there's more. I'm gonna put this little guy in the bucket here. I have a little bit of water. Look at how cute he is. Insane, just walking right here on the road. Little red belly turtle. So we're just gonna search these puddles, see if we can find any little more babies. Look at this, they're like all these minnows. This obviously connects to some sort of pond or lake because you have a bunch of little fish. I don't know how well you can see. Little mosquito fish, cichlids, a bunch of micro species just throughout this puddle here. And if any little turtles are gonna be up in here, you'll just see their bright colors. That little guy was trying to cross the road to get over to the other one. No way, no way. Bro, I didn't even see this no thing. Way. I didn't even see this thing. Wait, is that soft shell? That is a little baby soft shell. What? Bro, you are so cute. Look at his little mouth. Right here, just chilling in the puddle like that. That is so sick. There must be like a, I don't know if this is the time of the year that turtles lay their nests or their eggs, but we're finding a bunch of little baby turtles everywhere and it did just pour down rain the past couple of days, so they're all starting to come out and just like get some sunlight. Oh. <laughs> that is so epic, dude. I literally walked right up. Did you see him? 
Yeah, well, I didn't see him until you said something. Dude, I walked right past it. I was like, right here? I looked to my right and he's sitting right there. I saw the, the object, but I didn't even think it was a turtle because of how round it was and like flat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, I didn't see him at all until you pointed it out. Looks like a little pancake. He's sick. We found this guy walking in the road, which then made us stop to find this guy. So I think we got to keep searching, dude. It's literally been 25 minutes, found two baby turtles. There must be a nest, definitely a nest somewhere around here. And, um, or even a big pond or something. And that's why we're finding these guys. But let's search a little bit more and see if we can find maybe one or two more. We really got to dig through this stuff. I'm just feeling around this grass right now. Sometimes you'll feel their shell. It's a little sketchy because you don't know what else is down there. But I thought I saw a little. No way! Come on. You're lying. I Come swear on. to gosh. Oh my god. Bro, no. he swam into my hand. I felt it like this. <gasps> Just like that. I knew I saw a little baby turtle. When I was walking past here, I saw something like dart right down into the grass, but I wasn't sure if it was a fish. Stopped and looked, and look at that little baby turtle. And it looks like either yellow belly or another red belly, not sure. That is epic right there. Came out here, we're eventually going after big bass today, but things didn't work out. On the way back, look at that. We end up running into a baby turtle. We stop, look around a little bit, and we find even more turtles, crazy. We got three turtles total. We got two of these little guys. These kind of look similar. I'm not exactly sure if they're the same, but you can see the shells are a little different. The bottom, this guy's got a little more red. This guy's got a lot more yellow. So if you guys know, let us know in the comments. And then this guy, he's definitely a soft shell of some sort. I'm not sure what kind either though. But he's a little aggressive. Get him back in here, and we're definitely taking these guys back for the pond. See you guys at the house. Woo. I do want to give a quick shout out to Eastman Bikes. If it wasn't for them, we would not be able to access all these crazy locations we did today. I've had these bikes for about six months now. This is my first time sharing them with you guys, but I've just been testing them out and everything has held up to what they have told me about these bikes. Great off-road, great battery life, really, really fast, and the list goes on, truthfully. There's just a bunch of crazy things you could do. If you guys want to learn more about them, if you're interested in them, I'm going to have my link in the description down below, also popping up here on the screen. Along with that link, you'll receive $50 off your first purchase of any model of Eastman bikes. Go check them out. Now let's get our turtles in the pond. We are back at the house. Now these little turtles are gonna be going in the patio pond for now. We only have three turtles in there and this will be another three. So we'll have six total, but these guys are really small and they're only gonna be in there for about a month or so till they get a little bit more size on them. And then eventually they're going to the backyard pond right over there. This guy is really aggressive, keeps trying to bite me. So he's gonna go right in. Look at him. Now our two little red belly sliders. Wait, before I put them in though, comment down below some names for these three little guys. We, we literally probably saved this little guy's life. He would have gotten ran over. And then his brothers, we just brought them along. So he has some friends and um, here they go. <laughs> this is sick. Look at the soft show. Look at them. They're just swimming all around. They're like finally a bunch of water. They probably haven't had much water in a long time. Just those little puddles. So they're loving it right now. There's our yellow belly coming out. Oh, you just went right back in there. But they do have a little tunnel under all this rock. So if they get scared, a lot of the turtles go up under there and hide. So plenty of room in here for the meantime. In a month, they'll definitely be going into the giant backyard pond. We already have a few turtles in there. And the goal is to have a bunch of turtles in there. So when we feed the fish, turtles come up with the fish. And I think that would be really cool. But other than that, what a crazy day. Extremely hot here in Florida. Went out there, we are attempting to catch something bigger for the backyard pond. Didn't have any luck, unfortunately. But on the way back, we did get lucky enough to run into baby turtles. Just hanging out in little puddles, extremely cool. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, comment down below a name for those little guys. It is my 21st birthday, so I'm gonna go celebrate it. But we'll see you guys in the next one. See you!